Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 7. We hit a week of vlogmasing, but today as you can tell, I am in my working out outfits, apart from shoes because I'm in the house and I'll be letting you guys in on my workouts and the reason I work out, you guys have seen how much I cook, so I need to stay in shape, otherwise I'll be eating and not working out and before I know it, I can't walk. But anyways, you guys, so apart from cooking a lot, even when I was not cooking, I was still working out. I know I don't look like because I took a break for a very long time. But what am I even saying? I'm saying the other reason why I work out is because of my mental health. It feels so good, you guys, to work out. If you've never worked out, try even going for a walk. It feels so good to your brain. It gives you this nice feeling. So you can do a walk, you can go for a run, you can work out. But today I'm going to show you my workouts that I do with no equipment. Sometimes I go to the gym and one of the biggest blessings again of this new apartment is the gym downstairs. They have a gym which is free for all the residents. So we go there, we go there for evening workouts with A sometimes. Today I'll be doing it alone because he is holding the camera. So if you want, you can say thank you in the comment section to the guy behind the camera. But I'll be showing you how what you can do at home with no equipment every day for 20 minutes and you will be sorted. Even when I don't have, even with the equipment, I still follow the same ones. It's only that I do some alteration. For example, when I'll be showing you lunges, which is these ones, I use dumbbells. I use dumbbells, so when you see these ones, what I do different when I go to the gym is holding the dumbbells, but you can do this and I assure you, it's going to keep you motivated, it's going to keep you in a good mood, and it's going to keep you in shape. So let's go do it. So guys, I start, I start by warming up and how I do that is that I skip, I skip at least 300 skips, you can do 100, you can start where you're at. I started at 30 something years back, but now I can do 1000 without stopping, but nowadays I just do 300 to 500, that should warm me up and then I'll show you guys. So let's I just warmed up and I have this beautiful mat that I bought from Miniso. I'm not advertising anyone but I'm just plugging you guys where I got it from. So I use this one for all my upper body workouts and you guys um, we moved back in because of the wind outside so I figured you guys won't hear what I'm saying so I'm going to be doing the rest of the exercises in this room and I'm going to show you, I'm going to start with my upper body workout. So this one makes sure that I keep my stomach in shape and yeah, I'm going to show you. And to be honest, you guys, when I'm doing my sit-ups, I like air stepping on me because it gives me some stability, but still, even today without him, I'm going to do them. and. How I do that is I do two sets of 20 and I'm going to do them with you guys. One, two, three, four. I just finished. I'll be panting a lot. So I just finished my first set of 20. And what I'm going to do in between the two sets is that I'm going to sit. I don't know the name of this exercise, but you sit and lean backwards a little bit. Don't touch anything with your back. So, and then hold your hands like this and do this. When I'm in the gym, usually I use a plate for that exercise, but with no equipment, it still works. So you're going to lean back hold your hands and then we count one on both sides one two three ten so another five seconds of break 
and then I'm going to go back to my sit-ups and then the last sets of those side to side dips I would want to call them so <sighs> sit-ups are difficult today because I don't have the stability of someone stepping on me but I'm still looks like someone is able to step on me as they still hold the camera so if you have someone that can step on you the better it gives you stability so I'm going to do the last set of 20 one <laughs> you guys I am tired but I have to keep going so I'm going to take a five minutes breather and then do the dips guys now the dips ten of them and here we go one make a break on my upper body and I'm going to show you what I do for my legs I kind of do every day like a full body workout I work on my upper body and I work on my legs every day warming up and stretching so I'm going to show you what I do I do 10 la 10 lunges for every leg so what you need to do is put one leg in front of the other and then act like you're kneeling like this don't touch the ground one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and change if you go to the gym you can use dumbbells you can hold the dumbbells and try to do lunches with dumbbells but still if you don't have any equipment you can do this at home it still works so let's go one two three four five six seven Ten. I'm going to take a break and I'm going to do my squats so the squats I usually do 40 every day so I do two sets of 20 so I don't know whether you guys have the patience to watch me do 40 squats but that's what I do the trick here is to not squat with your stomach in front the person that showed me how to do squats was three strict on how you do them because if you do them wrongly they can hurt your back so the trick is to not bend forward and assume you're sitting how you sit you sit with your I don't know just assume you're sitting and if there is take your back behind and then sit so that's how you do squats and I'm going to have to I turn this way so so that I can pass my legs enough to show you guys and then I have to tell my head to push them back behind and then squat I like to stretch my hands because it gives me balance so it's not a requirement it just gives me balance so I do one two I'm going to take a break and I'll do 20 more. 20 more, let's go. One. You guys. Yeah, looks like. 
we have one more exercise to go and guys don't feel the pressure to do 40 squats I've built 40 over a certain period of time so all you need to do is build if you can do five every day it's better than doing 40 one day in a week so do five every day and then when you get comfortable add one add two and then build that until you're comfortable again so as you can see i'm panting i'm panting so it means 40 for me is work so when i get comfortable i'll add like 10 more and that's how i built it so last exercise that i like doing before stretching is a plank and this guys is the hardest one minute is the longest time of my life when i'm on when i'm doing plank i've built this again over time i think i started at like 10 seconds right now i can do two minutes and that's the last exercise i'm going to show you guys let me pull the mat a little bit so that i can stretch my whole body and two minutes i'm hoping i'm going to still keep it today that was the last record so let me go down please start at 10 seconds if you start just beginning it's very hard and let's do it <sighs> oh. look i need a timer but that's me going up one two let's go hardest part of my workout but it makes me feel so good every time I add even two seconds on this one because I mean it is just too much with this one but it makes me feel so good the sense of achievement and now you guys I'm going to show you how I stretch because let me tell you guys stretching is so important that I had like I think a month where I would work out and not stretch and my back started hurting and when I started stretching, now my back is okay. So I'm going to show you how I stretch. And it's so easy, it's just as easy as it is, it's stretching. So I start with touching my toes with my back straight. So I do this, touch my toes, and let my back feel it. And I count one to 10 without speeding it up. So I'll do one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'll do the same for my back from my, this side. So I'm going to count one to ten again. Let me turn this way so that you guys can see. So one, two, three. I do side by side, those ones I do 20, and don't do this in a hurry, just do it slowly, do one, I count one for both sides, so two, three, make sure you touch your knees, behind your knees, four, five, six, seven,
last one this is Ace's favorite so he hates this one but it's really good for your back and also I think I stretch for my back because I can feel like when I don't stretch I can feel my back straight so you put your head here and you lift your leg from the opposite side if that makes sense I'm going to demonstrate it you lift your leg close enough if you can't reach that's fine but try to do as high up as you can and I don't know I think I need to turn so that's okay. so I'll need to no, sorry guys if I turn you won't see it so I need to do this and I'm going to show you guys I do 15 per leg so you do this and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten five more one two three four five and change i'm gonna do 15 for this leg again so for my right arm i use my left leg so let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten five more one two three four five and yeah i stretched i worked out and i warmed up i started with warming up work out and then stretch and guys i feel so good and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i hope you try out that working out from home and be consistent with it and Sorry guys, thank you so much for everybody that has been watching, subscribing. I love reading your comments, so make sure you leave them down below. Let me know what you want to see for Vlogmas Day 8. And make sure you follow me on Instagram, Ashun Una, for all those moments that never make it to YouTube. And I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. And bye, happy working out. <laughs>